All right, so it's the 17th of June, 2025, when I'm recording this video. And today, Adobe have released a number of updates across the whole Lightroom ecosystem. But for this video, I'm gonna concentrate on the updates that have come into Lightroom Mobile. So let's take a look. So I'm on my phone now, then if I tap to open Lightroom, I'm straight away, I'm in the device tab just here. And if I open up this image, this is one that I took using the Project Indigo camera, actually used it from within Lightroom. The way you can do that, if you didn't know, was once you've got Project Indigo installed, if you go to the app settings in Lightroom Mobile, then go to Early Access, at the bottom here it should say Tech Preview. Just toggle that little slider on. That means from then on, whenever you go to use the camera within Lightroom, you'll be using the Project Indigo camera. All right, so let's go back then. Let's have a look at this image just here. Now, this is one, like I said, I took with the Project Indigo camera, uh, a very, very quick shot of this beach scene. And when it comes to editing this, doing some quick alterations to it, the first thing I would want to do is the one that jumps out to me is to remove the people from the scene. They obviously don't contribute to it. Now, we've obviously got the remove tool, which has been in for a while now. And using that, I would ordinarily then just kind of use my finger to sort of scribble over if I was using my phone, scribble over them and then remove them. But now look, when we go to the remove tool, we have this icon here, this little group people icon just here. If I tap on that, it then opens up and says remove extra people. Now that word extra is really important, which I'll explain in a moment. But just for now, let's just say then we open that up, it says remove extra people. And what Lightroom does is it now looks at the image and says, right, have we got people in here that aren't contributing to this particular scene? And when it identifies people, you'll see that it puts these little selections around them. If I zoom in, you can see that they're transparent and you can see that it's managed to pick up the people within the scene here that don't make, you know, they don't contribute to it. Once it's got that, we can then tap on this blue icon to remove them. But if there is somebody that it's maybe put a selection around to remove that, that maybe it shouldn't do that you want to keep, you'll notice underneath here it says tap on a person to keep them. So for example, if I wanted to keep this person on the end just here, all I would do is just tap on them and you'll see now that overlay has just gone. But if I change my mind, I can tap back on them to say, actually, no, we do want to get rid of him. So let's just double tap to go back to the full view. And then I'll just tap on the blue disc here to remove selected people. It tells me it's going to take roughly five seconds to do it. And it is, I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment, it is working quite quickly. And you'll see that little progress disc will go all the way around. And sure enough, there you go, it's disappeared. So if I zoom in, you can see that the people have been removed, which is really cool. Now, once the people have been removed, that disc now, rather than when I open up, rather than saying remove extra people, you'll see it says refine people. So I can tap on that. And if I wanted to maybe think that, well, you know, the way it's done, it isn't quite so good. I've got three variations now. If I tap, I can go through those to see which one gives me the best looking result. I think the first one does look pretty good. So we'll just click on done on that in there. However, when I zoom in, I can see that this dog here, uh, which had a person right next to it, something weird has happened to the front of the dog. So as I'm in the remove tool, I will just use my finger just to go over the dog and the shadow and then give it a few seconds and then that'll remove that as well. And there we go. Double tap to go back to full view. Now, we'll come back to this picture in a moment, but before we do, let's just go to a different picture. I'll go to my Lightroom gallery just here, open up this one. This is just a, a quick selfie of me and my friend Steve. Whenever we go out to take some pictures together, we always do a selfie. Uh, and what's really clever now with this one is you'll notice that, as well as me and Steve, there are some other people in the scene. These people just here, and these people right in the distance. So now, look, this is what I mean about where it says remove extra people because this technology is able to recognize who are the subjects of this picture. You know, who should be here? Who is making this picture up? But also, who isn't? Who shouldn't be in the picture? Look what I mean. If I go to the Remove tool, we'll click on the icon to bring it up, and it says Remove Extra People. I'll tap on it. Lightroom then looks at the image and goes, right, who should be in this and who shouldn't be in it? And you'll notice, look, it recognizes that Steve and myself make up the picture. And these people on the left-hand side, and those way in the back, it's managed to pick those up as well. It recognizes that they shouldn't be in the picture. So all I need to do now is tap on the disc here that says remove selected people, give it roughly five seconds, and then they'll be gone. 
And of course, then I can use the refine if I wanted to. If I didn't think it had done a very, you know, a good job, I could then go through to get the different variations. But that looks pretty good to me. So that's one thing there that we've got, which is very, very useful. Let's just go back to that other image then that I did have originally open. This one just here, where we've removed the people, we've moved the dog. Now, other things I'd want to do here, let's just quickly straighten this up. So I'll go to the crop tool, we'll tap on auto geometry just to straighten it, which is kind of cool. But we've also got these quick actions. We've had these for a little while now, but now there is a new one. You can see here it says scene. So we've got scene enhance. Now, if I tap on that, Lightroom then analyzes this picture to see, right, what have we got? What elements have we got in this whole scene, this landscape here that we could quickly alter? And you'll see now, look, as it's done that, a few sliders have appeared. So we've got sky, mountains, vegetation, water, and natural ground. Had there been other elements, those would also be there now with sliders for themselves as well. Now, just above that, we've got these presets. So we can tap through to change looks very quickly with these presets. And with each of these presets, we also have an amount slider where we can increase the look of it or decrease the look of it. Double tap to send it back to the default of 100. I'll go back to the non one just here, though, so I'll do this manually. And all I need to do to quickly fix this picture to make it look a bit better, I can take the sliders and I go to the right to emphasize that particular part. Like I can emphasize the sky to the right, or I can de-emphasize it by going to the left. I think I will go to the right just to emphasize it just a little bit, so maybe around about there. Let's have a look at the mountains. I can drag it to the right to enhance them. There we go. Look at that. See how it's picking up the mountains in the distance? The hills there. Very cool. The vegetation. A little bit on those mountains there, which is nice. And the water as well. Just simply moving these sliders to the right to emphasize or to the left to de-emphasize. I'll probably go for around about there. And finally, the natural ground. We'll go for something like that. It's going to really enhance that. But that's taken literally seconds. Let's just tap on the tick. And if I hold down with my finger, we get the before and after. Before and after. Really, really cool. Very, very cool stuff. Loving that. Now, one extra little thing to mention as well is when you do use these quick actions, if we now then go to the masking section, all those different elements that are recognized within the image, the sky, the mountains, the vegetation, the water, the natural ground, whatever is recognized will then be listed as individual masks within the masking section that you can then manipulate further. Uh, what else have we got? Well, also, yeah, we've got these sharing. So if I just come out of that picture there, that's now going to the Lightroom gallery. Here it is just here as it sinks over into the Lightroom. So now also we can share. We've always been able to share using this platform. But if I go to the share icon at the top right and we'll go to share on the web, from here, there's lots of stuff we can do. Now, like I said, this has been around for a little while here now where we can we get the link for it. We've got a QR code. So if you were out and about and you took some pictures and there was somebody there that you'd taken a picture of their dog maybe and you wanted to give them to them straight away, you could do that, get them to scan the QR code, then they can get access to that gallery. But if you, one thing I really love about this is now we've got this anyone can add photos. So now if when I put a slide that across, this is a public shared album that anybody who has access to it can upload it. And I think for me, the possibilities with that, the usefulness of it is really cool, especially when I go out in groups. So you can all collaborate together and put pictures up into it. So I think that's very, very cool addition just there. So that's that one. Uh, and what else? Have a quick look at my list here. Oh yeah, the Indigo. This is nothing to do with Lightroom Mobile. I wanted to show you something on the Project Indigo. Let's just close this down. I'll open up Project Indigo. I took three pictures that have got some reflections in them. So we'll go to this one here first of all. Close that down just there. Now you can see there's me in the window. This is a gallery near where I live, and you can see yours truly in the window there taking a picture of it. Now if we go to this icon in the middle, we then get to remove reflections. So tap on that. And I was just impressed of how good this was. It doesn't take that long to do it, but just look now how it removes the reflections on this just here. And they go, I think that's just amazing. So let's have a look. This is before, this is after. Before and after. Very, very cool stuff. Got another one just here. Let's have a look, see how good it can do. This one, there's a load of reflections just there. So I'll tap on it, remove reflections. Again, we'll give it a few seconds for it to analyze it. The, the great thing about this one here is the AI, it's not adding in any pixels. It's literally the AI is being used to identify 
what should be in the other side of the glass and what shouldn't be. So it can identify the two, and then it just uses technologies to just to remove them. So it's not adding in pixels. So that's probably worth knowing for those of you who are maybe involved in camera clubs and you kind of, um, you know, you kind of submit stuff into competitions and things. This one here isn't adding in anything extra. It's just identifying what should be there and what shouldn't be. I mean, look at that. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible difference. We'll do one more. Come out of there and got this one. Me right in front of the picture just there behind the other side of the window. Tap on it. Remove reflections. And again, give it a few more seconds. Let's just see what it can do here. Alrighty, and there you go. I mean, look at that. There's before, after, before, and after. Very, very clever stuff. So there you go. That's uh, the updates that have come into Lightroom Mobile. What we've got, look at my list on the right-hand side here. We've got the distraction removal with the people. We've got the uh, quick actions, especially now with that scene enhance and the presets. Um, and also got the sharing. So yeah, some good updates coming to Lightroom Mobile. Obviously, I've shown you on my iPhone just there. Those updates as well are over in the iPad version. I will be doing videos for what's coming to desktop and the classic, so keep an eye out for those. But for now, make sure you update Lightroom Mobile and enjoy. I'll see you in the next video.